All right, so we're here with Melinda Hong, 2017 Women's U.S. Amateur Champion. Melinda, congratulations. You've been here before. You've been close before. Yes. How does it feel to go home with a champion's trophy? Well, I think that for once, my mom will be proud of me because, you know, it's either first place or nothing. Typical Asian tiger mom. I love you, mom. So I want to go back through uh, the match prior to the, the final match. It was, a, it was a hill hill battle against Rhea. Um, came down to the eight ball, um, a little back and forth on the eight ball. Once you secured that match, it seemed like maybe your confidence level soared because you went into the championship and kind of steamrolled. I'm curious what your thoughts were coming out of the semifinal match. Uh, there was definitely a lot of pressure, um, especially because the equipment is very tough. And I remember that last eight ball, I missed it terribly because I was afraid the ball was going to skid, so I short stroked it, hit it very light, you know, my feather boa, and it went nowhere. Um, Rhea left me a pretty, pretty tough shot for me. I know it seemed very easy just cutting into a side, but when you have the weight of everything in the world on you, it was so missable. But I didn't, and when I did miss it, I was just, well, we, you know, I don't care now. I'm in the finals. It's good enough for me. And it's a race to nine, and I'm getting my money's worth. Oh, no more races to five. Right. So you played Amy uh, the round prior to playing Rhea. She sent you to the one-loss bracket. I'm wondering if you learned anything from her in that match that you were able to use in the championship? Oh, absolutely. I learned that you cannot miss against her. Ever. You just should not. You should not get out of line. You should not miss. You should not sell out. You have to play so tight. So either play great or she will still roll you. And, and see, there was just so, so many times I was just afraid of her. Once she was getting, she actually caught a gear in the finals in the middle and it started to really flex with me. And it took a lot for me to just basically bring everything back together and just try to focus one shot at a time. So you're, you're one of our regulars here, if you will, at the U.S. Amateur Championship. Um, I'm curious what brings a player like you back year after year. You're obviously coming all the way from the West Coast to be here. What is it about this particular event that, that draws you to it every year? Because it's so difficult. I, people always poke fun at me because I'm flying from the West Coast to the East Coast. So it's expensive to fly out here. And when I tell them that I win nothing but a trophy, they literally laugh. And they say, why do you do it? I said, because it's there. Same reason why you would climb Mount Everest, because it's there and it's hard. Um, if it wasn't hard, then why would anybody do it? Right. So one of the things that we talk about with the U.S. Amateur is tournaments kind of come and go, right? Mm -hmm. But but that title, U.S. Amateur Champion, now forever assigned to your name, forever assigned on a trophy. Um, how, how does that feel? Well, I hope that in a thousand years when the aliens are here or the rebirth of the dinosaurs, they will see that somewhere on a piece of paper that 2017 it was me. Well, congratulations. Anything you'd like to add for our viewers? Um, no, just that same thing I told everybody. It took me about 20 years to warm up until I could win this thing. So if you haven't won it yet, you should keep trying. <laughs> congratulations. It was a great match. Great time. I'm Melinda Wang, and I'm the 2017 U.S. Amateur Champion. Good. Good. Love it. Congrats again.